welcome back, this is Trivius with another episode in the Santiago Crusaders franchise. The franchise with a little bit of a different twist. We are of course only allowed to sign veterans each 30 or older at a free agency. We're not allowed to trade and we're not allowed to draft. This week we will be playing the Green Bay Packers at home week 15 action in our third season we are actually looking quite solid with eight and five and they are looking weirdly uh at a place at four and nine i don't really know what's going on because their team looks super solid 92 96 overall 93 way better rated than we are especially on defense this is going to be very tough and we have really struggled against those tough defenses in the past uh, there's not a lot to take care of we will be taking a look at the player picture still bottom right and uh, again as i said super happy to be there just want to be in the wild card unless we really break past the wild card round it's not going to make much of a difference wild card games are always pretty tough games uh, we do have two slight problems <laughs> to put it lightly uh, this week uh, we are missing tarn smith our left tackle he is very important for the offensive line at age 34, an injury like this is really taking a lot of time to heal. Same goes for Travis Kelsey. He's our starting tight end, X-Factor player. He's going to be out for four weeks. Also broken ribs. This is hor horrific. Absolutely horrific. Really bad. Uh, couldn't have come at a worse time, to be honest, because we are now nearing the end stretch of this season. We've not progressed past the fifth seed at the moment. So if we want to push to the fourth third or second uh, we would really need a good run now we still have four games this season um home game away away and then home game again and then i reckon some playoff games maybe as well the the team is great as it stands so can't really fault anyone we're going to be looking at the packers right away uh, then set up the team weekly strategy and then we're off to the game of course all right here we go the notre dame quarterback tyler buckner is uh the quarterback for the Packers now, uh, he is looking pretty solid actually. 82 rated, age 22, not looking too bad. Play action is a little bit of a weakness here. Trucking, stiff arm, carrying strength also. But everything else is looking very solid actually. So can't really find a weakness there. They've also got Andrew Webster out of Northern Illinois and George Reynolds out of Texas A&M. Uh, not really found their uh, quarterback, their franchise QB. But I do see Tyler Buckner as being uh, their quarterback of the future. So solid quarterback. Let's not underestimate him. Halfback is Liam Hines, 91 rated, 28 years old. Michael Carter, 26, 89. I think Michael Carter joined from the New York Jets. Yes. Um, so he's a new one there. Will Shipley's here out of Clemson. And Jose Bigby. And Will Shipley, of course, the Clemson running back. Looking super solid does have a few weaknesses but nothing too bad and Liam Hines of course also a solid running back of course no comparison to our running back James Conner who I rate way higher uh, even if the overalls aren't that convincing Braden Baker is the fullback wide receiver core consisting of Brandon Ayuk formerly a 49er if I'm not mistaken uh, now with the Packers since uh, 2024 uh, who else do we have? Romeo Dobbs is here out of Nevada. Then we've got Christian Watson, the 2022 draftee. We've got Isaiah Satania and Antonio Williams. Two rookies looking pretty solid, actually. Good picks by the Packers. Uh, but we do have an elite wide receiver here, Brandon Ayuk. We've got Romeo Dobbs, who's also really, really looking elite as an award winner. Christian Watson, super, super highly rated, 89 and then these two who just look to be solid replacements Arik gilbert is the tight end robert tonyan is also a tight end here in the back and chandler wolf a rookie out of virginia not looking too highly rated but Arik gilbert really solid the georgia product left tackle is david bakhtiari 33 years old 94 rashid walker behind him bakhtiari let's take a look here how long is his contract two more years apart from that looking very very good actually left guard cam dubery 21 years old 84 sean ryan behind him and cam dubery really looking like a very good addition the rookie with the start of trade already high strength 
super solid. Cedric Drew Dalmon, 26.79. We've also got Jake Dupin, future starter. Solid center, right guard Andrew Belton and Steven Reese behind him. And Andrew Belton, 24.76. Looking like a solid choice at that position. Also super high strength rating, but yeah, not really where I would like to see a starter. Right tackles Wyatt Milam. This looks more like a starter with an 89 rating. And Zach Tom behind him. Interestingly, Zach Tom can also be used as a center. So I would probably use Zach Tom as my starting center here uh, instead of Drew Dalman or Jake Dubin. Anyhow, let's take a look at defense because this is super highly rated. We've got Isaiah Folsky, Cam Sample behind him. Isaiah Folsky out of Notre Dame, the left edge, right edge is Puna Ford, 29.83. Devontae Wyatt, 2781. And Puna Ford will be eligible next year and he's going to be out of a contract next year this is actually good very nice d tackle kenny clark 29 and 99 rated with the blitz x factor ability of course he still has three more years to go so will not be eligible for us jonathan ford the backup and jaheem otis 2180 wow this is a this is a very good looking rookie actually Left as a linebacker, Montel Doe, 2581, and Anthony Nelson, 2879 as the back of So outside linebacker looking good, mid linebacker, Koi Walker, then we've got Devondra Campbell and Jason Henderson. Devondra Campbell, let's check him out quickly, 32 years old, uh, still has two years to go, so not eligible. Right outside linebacker, Akeem Davis Gaither, 2787, Preston Smith, and Kingsley Yannick Barry. Uh, looking pretty good actually cornerbacks jerry alexander we know him and we know that he's usually he's way higher rated he's an x-factor or something here he's only a start of trade which is fine by me to be honest because that takes those abilities away uh, i've got eric stokes 26 and 92 two elite corners dante jackson also an elite corner how long is his contract because this would be a good addition right two more years well Garrett Williams, Latras, Welch are here. Ifiato Melifonobu and Jabari McMillan are the free safety, strong safeties. Justin Reed, superstar, death rate 96 rated, the 28 year old Stanford product. Looking solid. Adrian Amos, 3289. Could we get him? Nah, two years. All right. And Zion Branch, the kicker, Brandon Lawrence, and the punter is Nate Sheffield. Oh, Okay, uh, let's check out the weekly strategy here. Tyler Buckner, what do we do with him? I think we're gonna just defend the short passing. I feel like that might be the best bet. Uh, we're also gonna be going with the half pads and split that. It's not gonna be a lot of uh, experience points, of course, but I'd rather have a fully fit team. The offensive game plan, we're gonna run it inside. I know that this we will be running into a brick wall, but uh, James Conner is more than capable of doing that. I like to call him my personal wrecking ball. Uh, next up, weekly game plan. We are going to sack the QB five times, allow 24 points, get 250 offensive yards, and we're going to win the turnover battle. All offensive training results are in. There are no injuries. As always, that is my main focus to really keep them out of that and uh, just make sure that we have no injuries no additional injuries i don't know if you noticed but you can see that turn smith and travis kelsey both have the reps for the backups so it doesn't really matter what we do with these players they will never trade fully because they're injured that is good we do even have a few player upgrades that is nice all right the forest buckner gets an upgrade we're gonna put this into run stopper just wanting to be as tough as it can be. Alex Anzalone, who we just gave a new deal to, so we're not too unhappy that he gets some extra uh, points in his core attributes. Nicholas Morrow, we might even sign him as well. I feel like he would be a good backup, right? Long time backup, he's 30 now, 79, not gonna regress too hard, and even if he does. But then again, I might even have learned my lesson not giving players like this long-term deals. Even Anzalone is on a short one, so there we go. All right, what do we do? I think I'm going to put Sumalo here, and I'm going to put Andy Norwell on the left side. This should be 
solid looking offensive line. Uh, George Fant is playing as a tight end and is 87 rated. Wait, are you kidding me? I'm going to switch him over immediately. <laughs> Why ever would I bother with a player like Dan Arnold? Huh. Didn't see that coming. But okay, I'm going to leave it as it is. We do have Michael Thomas back, which is very good. Uh, so we have Robbie Anderson on wide receiver 2. And we've got Robert Woods on wide receiver 3 again. Back here, uh, we are looking... A very solid, nothing needs to be changed here. I was thinking of putting Russell Douglas at uh, the CB2, but I still, I'm still going to leave Bradbury there for the time being. And as soon as Russell Douglas gets maybe the scheme fit, I'm going to add him there. Overall, we are looking very solid, especially loving these three here. Those are really highly rated. Very, very good. All right, I think we're ready, guys. Uh, let's head into the game against the Packers. It's going to be a home game. Let's try and add to our very good season record. Here we are, guys. This is our home stadium. We've improved it to stage four. Not sure if we can see the changes, actually, but we might rebuild it at some point in time. Here we've got Brandon Ayuk. 13 receiving touchdowns this season. Dak Prescott here showing off our home uniforms. You can see the detail on the jerseys very nicely here. Oh, he's looking a little bit like a chain mail. Like, I can't get past that. And, uh... Fits with the Crusaders sleeve, of course. Packers gonna be out first. I get them the uh, alternate uniform, which is all white with the yellow helmets, looking very nice. And we are gonna be using our established home uniform, black and yellow, and the black socks. So far, nothing more to add, nothing more to do, apart from start the game. Of course, we are the home team. I definitely want to do my best and, uh, you know, not dominate this, but want to impose what we want to do. And we start in a fantastic field position. So let's go, James Conner. Can we start out with an immediate touchdown? We are at the four yard line, first and goal within the first few seconds. This was a brilliant kick return, man. Lucky that I didn't take care of that because. Whenever I do that, I really play horribly. Let's go with a 26 to go. He's slightly off to the left side, and I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use Fant there. Just wanna see what happens. Up the one yard line, second and goal, halfback dive. There's no doubt in my mind about what to do here. We're just gonna work on this. Try breaking through. It is Kenny Clark, straight ahead. Oh, we are in. There's not even a question. James Connor putting us on the board immediately. Absolute brilliant. Well done, James. Well done. Breaking into the end zone here, the Packers defense. A little bit. It's, I can see Quay Walker, Puna Ford. But they don't really have a lot of power holding off James Connor here. Let's see. Can our defense do the same? The defense steps up. That was very important. 45 quick base. Left hand side run. We are not going to run straight into that player. Going to go with the inside zone. There we go. Stiff arm by James Conner. Five yard on the pickup. Halfback slam is what we're going to follow up with. They're using those two linebackers there. 59 and number seven. Taken down quickly by number four. We're gonna have to use something else now. Let's see. Do I trust this one here? Or do I rather go with something else? Let's try this one. I've got Higby, I've got Thomas. Th uh, fourth and two now. Do I wanna turn over the ball here? Do I think that we can get this? I actually think that we can get it. I'm gonna go with Higby. We're the home team. Let's be aggressive. Let's play like a home team. Oh, there we go. First and ten. And we push forward. Let's continue this. 
momentum here. Really liking the fact that the Packers can hardly get a breather. Second and seven. Right hand side run. And we're getting ready here. Feel like this is a good one. James Conner. Ah, oh, he did adjust, but third and six. That defense. Jesus, man. Really very quick on the stop. Gonna start this. Screen here. And that worked very well. User stiff arm. That's me. James Corner putting out the arm, getting the defender off his back. Hmm. Looks a little bit stumped. I can work with that. Tyler Higby, James Corner. Going for a high five or a low five or whatever that was. Let's see. It started man weak zone. They are really setting up very tightly here. I would like to exploit that. Let's try the burst cross. Airing this one out and there's a flag. Come on guys. Is this going to be an offensive penalty? It is not. Jabari McMillan, and of course we're going to take it, I mean, <laughs> why wouldn't we? That was a fantastic catch by Michael Thomas, absolutely brilliant. James Conner fighting for those three yards. Let's go with this left hand side run here, we have a better one. Could go with Michael Thomas, these look very complicated, don't have that much time to change it. Yeah, it ran straight into Clark. Third and seven. That was not the way I envisioned that play. Let's see, what else do we have here? Do we have a clever play? Let's try the bench. Let's try the bench. I mean, it is Michael Thomas, Kenny Clark. On field blockers have their resistance bars wiped. Oh, that is not good. Smacked away by number 26. Probably should have gone for a high pass, but fourth and seven. Field goal time. Let's get Matt Gay going. And on the board. Slightly towards the right, and that is exactly in the middle of the sticks. So here we go. Well done. By Matt Gay. Come on, D. All right. Packers quickly on the board. Like to get another touchdown in this first half here. Oof. Number 94. Reaching across. Getting a big grab on James Conner. He didn't didn't manage to break free here. There we go. Robbie Anderson. It was good because the midline backer moved slightly out of the way to sort of make the route open up. You can see it here, it's number seven, I think that's Koi Walker. He did move to the side, opening up the uh, passing play for Dak Prescott here. Half back power, oh, as we're hit with a two minute warning. Um, this defense looks very solid in the run game, but this looks like a chance here. Oh, all right, this is a blitz. Oh, this was a blitz. Second and ten. Let's try the flood. Nah. Let's go the verticals. Connor or Woods. There we go. Went for the stiff arm. Five and six today for Dak Prescott in the first half. Making some progress here. And that must have been a blitz as well, something like that, because the uh, the center part of the pitch just completely opened up. Love those plays, man. 
where James Conner goes through uh, the offensive line. There we go. Let's try and get this run established. Taken down here as the defensive player wraps his arms around uh, James Conner's legs. Couldn't get away. Is Tyler Higby a good option here? I am unsure. Really am unsure. Let's go to double slants. That was expertly slapped away. Do I go with a draw? I'm gonna try this. Half back draw. Straight edge run. There is a, there's a huge gap in the middle. But they closed that one down so quickly at oh goodness. <laughs> Fourth and two. So they call the timeout here. The big question is if I get this done, I lead by seven points. If I don't get this done, well, I lead by 13 points even. And there we go. Let's call a timeout here. 24 seconds on the clock. We're still in the first half. And if we could get this one done, that would be very nice, wouldn't it? Higby has to be our number one tight end now. I'm rather looking for Connor or Michael Thomas. And there we go. Michael Thomas getting a great stiff arm on the defensive player back there. Really like that route. Very, very nice. Do we go with a Z spot? Robbie Anderson. There we go. Probably the easiest touchdown we've ever had. There's no fight in there. And Robbie Anderson, really one of my favorite players. Not only this season, but also last season. Really getting things done. Noah seems to be working hard to get free. Come on, defense. There we go. That is great. We have uh, things in our grasp now. Let's try and capitalize all this. Let's get some even even greater space here. John James Conner pushes number 15. No, not again, man. Michael Thomas. Not another injury. I mean... The good news is that I know that our wide receiving core can sort of make up for that problem. But on the other hand, I'm not really too happy to lose my wide receiver number one again. Valdez Scantling getting into position. And I will just show you what I meant by by the midline backers sort of opening up. Bruce Charlie, I'm gonna keep him. I want to keep him around. All right, let's let's take a look at this. Um, I am talking about the space here in between. This is what I, where I'm always wait uh, with us with the slant runs. So we start the run, and the linebackers immediately open up the area. If I wait too long, they will readjust. And this is right now is happening. Number 32 over here is adjusting and Dak Prescott is throwing the ball. But by the time he will have adjusted, he won't be there to catch up. And 31 on the other side is not really uh, in a good position either because he went over to the uh, right a little bit more, went back. And there was just this huge gap here in the middle for me to throw the ball into. That worked. That worked well. Pretty happy about that one. So James Conner. Well, let us go. 3-2-1. Off we go. Run play. Shedding one player very nicely. Six yards on that pickup. Let's go this inside zone. Slightly curved. Going to go between the center and the guard. That is Siomalo with the long hair. Breaking free from that. Attempted tackle. Halfback smash. Left hand side. They're completely setting up to counter pass plays. So either I go the crazy play 
I sort of stick with these run plays. Just get the clock to run down. Another broken tackle. Jesus Christ. Three broken tackles for James Conner. And the defenders can't even deal with him. Bam. Bam. Taking that. Number 43 in the end does get the better of him, but there was no stopping him. Jesus, man. Absolutely brilliant. Sometimes the space, of course, is too tight, but I'm just going to keep moving forward. Could we adjust? Let's try the smash drive. Michael Thomas. Oh, this is great. And we're in. We are in, guys. What? What is happening? Why are we this good all of a sudden? Defense is there. Number 21. Thomas grabs the ball, just keeps on running. Wow. Okay. I, of course, am going to take this. Oh, no. It wasn't a touchdown. <laughs> Yet. We could have worked on that. Jesus, stop at the one yard line. Not yet a touchdown. Let's see, what do we do? Let's try another halfback dive here. I'm rather thinking of maybe using something like this. Let's go this thing. Slightly off towards the right hand side. Oh my god. We are being held. We are being held at the one yard line. Kenny Clark, of course, is in hyper mode now. Let's try the dragon space. And George Fant is going to get is gonna get a touchdown for us. Never thought I'd see the day. But it was just free. Playing as the third. Tight end, number 79, gets completely free in the dragon spacing. And uh, Buckner can't really believe his eyes. 24-14, fourth quarter. A lot of fours in that sentence. Could have said 14-24 or fourth quarter, four minutes 23. Not at the 24-yard line. Let's go with this. Stopped here. Michael Thomas getting free, completely free here. Boom. And then, then of course, he stopped. I mean, he's not Superman, but slowly approaching something similar. ISO. And off we go. Sadly, he had his back towards the uh, defensive line because that took him down, but otherwise. Feel like he would have been free. Dan Arnold, third and four. Does get a few yards here, but nothing really earth shattering. He was free, but that turn hmm. sort of took the momentum out of his run. Let's try the halfback draw here. A lot of space in the middle. Ah, oh, and a super bad snap. But we get the first down, nonetheless. Just gonna let the clock run down as James Conner keeps rampaging through the Packers lines. I'm not sure why this team is so bad this season. I mean, the Packers are four and nine currently on the season. And that would mean that they have, yeah, that they've really played bad. Don't get that. Dan Arnold, fantastic catch here. 13 and 15 for Dak today. Really getting his stuff together. 
absolutely great. Today we are really playing fantastic football. It must be the weekly game. Plan bonuses or I don't I don't know what it is, but we're just really doing very well here. Let's go the boot. Gonna be looking for Higby. I mean I'm gonna go for whoever I get. Smacked away, thrown out the run, second and ten. The ISO. That's what we're going to be doing here with James Conner. Could have used it to get the clock running, by the way, but I didn't think of that on time. Third and five. Mike Tomlin, timeout called by the Packers. Because, of course, they do want to stop us here. Let's take a look at the tight end drive. <laughs> Could go for Fount again. To go for Arnold Higby. We're gonna put Michael Thomas on a slant though. Maybe we'll get him free. Oh, that would have been brilliant. And it would have been all down to me and my fantastic decision making. But uh, we are not gonna give them a chance to get close to us. Just gonna take the points. 27 14. And this is a comfortable position right now because we can just, you know, steer the game in the direction that we want. And they can't really do a lot about it. Let's go with the halfback dive. Comfortable position. They still have a timeout left and I don't want to go backwards. Alright, just one yard on this run with James Conner. Let's go ahead, get the halfback smash here on the left. Let's go to track and spacing. Let's try this one. Let's try and fool them. And there we go. 15 seconds. We are going to go with a field goal attempt here. Let's try and get it underway. Nope. No time, but we win the game 27 21. Could have gone higher if I'd liked to utilize the timeouts, but to be honest, why bother? It was a good game. We really played well, played to our strengths, didn't give any points away, took them when we could. Our defense was solid, and to finish that line, I thought our offense was very nice as well. That press got 176 yards, 77%. Completion rate, two touchdowns. Tyler Buckner. More yards, 233. 76. Similar completion rate, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Let's take a look here at uh, the uh, rushing part. 93 yards, James Conner. Jose Bigby did get six yards. <laughs> so half back. That's all they had on the rushing side. So our rush defense was great. Receiving side. Brandon Ayuk, scoring leader, two touchdowns. Michael Thomas with uh, 90 yards was very good, very important. Robbie Anderson with a touchdown and George Fant with one yard touchdown. On the blocking side, nothing special. On the defense, tackle leader, Lavonte David, tackles for loss, Kenny Clark, one sack by DJ Reader and two interceptions one by Jalen Ramsey and one by our midline backer Bobby Wagner well done guys all right we are really steaming now this is super super solid what we're delivering at the moment and I don't want to gush too much about this but we're really feeling solid at the moment this is what I like you know with the field when the team feels dependable and it sort of feels um, you know not not um, <laughs> improbable doing things that I don't want to or or uh, whenever you know I, I just have to expect the worst each pass play, play that I throw no I know that if James Conner starts we're gonna get three to five yards on average just looking very good on those runs um, I know that when Dak goes for the short passes they work for the long ones they work um, I know that if I get Robbie Anderson or Robert Woods into a good position Michael Thomas not as much I haven't tested him out as much because he was injured so so uh for such a long time um, but if i get them into position i know that they'll get the ball those slant plays work well so all that 
really gives a lot of confidence and, uh, and just makes it feel very reliable. That is a good feeling. So we're now 9-5, uh, second in the NFC East. We are, of course, still going to try to get more wins in the next three games. Then we're going to go for a, let's hope for a very long playoff run. But uh, yeah, for the moment, guys, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate each and every one of you. I've got over 100 subscribers, over 120 subscribers already. That is insane, man. So, so great. Can't really, um, can't really put into words how much that means to me. Those are milestones that I never expected to hit this early. Uh, so, I, yeah, I hope you enjoy what I'm doing. If you do, please drop me a like and subscribe. Just means a lot to me. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.